We are so excited that you're with us today. We have so many amazing things in store for AMP for this year, and we can't wait to get started. Make sure to tell a friend about AMP so you can follow along the episodes with them. Today, we have some awesome things with cooking, science, and craft, and we're going to learn all about wisdom and what it means to be wise. I hope you guys have so much fun, and I'll see you in just a little bit. So this month is all about wisdom. And you might've heard that word before, or you might've heard the saying, wise beyond your years. So I bet all of you are pretty wise and pretty smart. So we're gonna do a little game where I'm gonna give you two options, options A or option B. And you're gonna say out loud at home with your friends, your family, your siblings, whoever you're watching this episode with on which choice is the wise choice. And there is a right and wrong, but it's okay if you get it wrong because you can always try again on the next one, okay? We're gonna have five questions and I want you to say the answers out loud, okay? Here we go. Question one, you're going on a trip and you really think you wanna bring some snacks, but you know your parents say you can not have any junk food during the day, just healthy snacks. So what's the wise choice? Do you pack A, some apples and yogurt and fruit, or do you pack B, some potato chips, gummies, and candy? Which one do you think is the wise choice that would help you do the right thing? A, that's right, pack the apples and the fruit and the yogurt to stay healthy because those are the rules that you have and you have to be wise in your decisions. Okay, question two. You got sent home with some homework that you really don't know how to do. Maybe let's say it was for math class and those problems are really, really hard. So you have two options when you get your homework. You either A, ignore it and don't do it when you go home and just turn in a blank sheet or B, ask your teacher after class if you can have some extra help or have a little bit of extra time on your homework. Which one's the wise choice? B, that's right. Ask your teacher for a little extra help. It's always okay to ask for help and being wise means that you know what you need and it's okay when you don't know some things. Great job. Number three. Think about fall when it's really cold and brisk outside and it's not as hot as it is in the summer. You're getting ready to go to school and your parents tell you to pack a jacket because it's gonna be cold in the morning. You don't wanna pack a jacket because you're gonna have to carry it around, but you know it's gonna be cold. So what do you do? A, pack a jacket even if you don't want to because you know you'll need it later on, or B, ignore your parents and then just suffer through the cold all day. Which one's right? A, that's right. You need to pack a jacket just in case you need it. And it's okay if you have to carry it around. You can put it in your backpack or tie it around your waist. Great job. All right, number four. And this one can be a little tricky because I've done it before. Your parents tell you to clean up your room. And there's so many awesome toys out everywhere. You have clothes everywhere. You have your homework everywhere. And they say you have about an hour to clean your room before you can go over to your friend's house. So there are two options on what you can do. You can either A, shove everything under your bed and in your closet really quick so it looks clean and just hope they don't look at it. Or B, you can take the time they gave you and actually clean up your room and put everything away. Which one is the wise decision to make? Put everything away how you're supposed to. That's right, option B. Okay, number five, the last one. You have two options, A or B. You're hanging out with your friends and one of your friends does something that you know you're not allowed to do. Maybe say jump on the trampoline. A lot of kids do it, but a lot of kids can't. So you have a rule of not being able to jump on the trampoline, but they can. And it's okay because there's so many other things that you can go and do with other friends. So option A 
is you just kind of ignore the rules that you have and go jump on the trampoline and just hope that nobody else finds out. Or B, maybe say, thank you for the offer, but no thanks. I'm gonna go play with something else because I'm not allowed to jump on the trampoline. Which one's the wise choice? Option B, you say, thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna go do something else because you know your rules and you probably shouldn't go jump on the trampoline because it's against what you're supposed to do. And I know it might not seem like the fun choice to make because jumping on the trampoline could be fun with other friends, but you have to be wise and know what you're doing, know your rules and what you're expected to do and choose the other option. That was awesome. You guys did a great job. And even if you didn't get all of them right, that's okay. We had all those questions to practice how to think to be wise beyond your years, meaning how to know what to do to affect the long term. All of you are so wise and you can grow in your wisdom every single day. Just ask for help, talk to people about maybe options of what you should do if you don't feel comfortable with something. And as always, you can always learn and try something new. All right, I hope you guys are more wise now and you can go on and enjoy the rest of the Amped episode where we have some awesome things planned. I'll see you soon. Hello, Amped family. It's Chef Abigail and welcome to Whip It Up Cooking. Come and join me for our delicious snack that we will be making today. Let's get started. You need your amp kit. And oh look, I have Connors, but don't worry Connor, we're still gonna send you your amp kit. For cooking, the only thing you'll need is your Ziploc bag of goodies. So let's get started. Your first step is to grab your amp bag full of goodies. It has three wafers, white chocolates, pink chocolates, and chocolate chips. And from home, you're going to need a plate, a spoon, and two bowls. Your second step is to take your ant bag full of goodies and separate it. You'll put your three wafers onto your plate, as well as your chocolate chips. You will then place your white chocolate chips into one bowl, and then you'll place your pink chocolate chips into your other bowl. Now, I never told you guys what we were making today. So, if you have any guesses, let us know. Your third step is to take your white chocolate chips and put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. If they're not melted after the 30 seconds, put them back in for about 10 seconds at a time. Let's go. Your next step is to take your wafers and dip it into your white chocolate so that one end is covered. You can also use your spoon to spread if you have to. Your next step is to take your pink chocolate melts, put them in the microwave for 30 seconds and melt them. If they're not melted in 30 seconds, take it out and put it in for 10 seconds at a time. Your next step is to do the same exact thing that you did with your first wafers, except you're going to put it on the other end. This is what your wafer is supposed to look like so far. Your next step is to take your chocolate chip and place it on the top of the white part of your wafer. And voila, there you have it, a pencil. And voila, your very own pencil. This month is all about wisdom. And this pencil can remind you to make very wise choices in school. But don't ever forget my most favorite part. You can also eat. Bon appetit. Huh, my pencils aren't as good as Chef Abigail's. So I am so glad she taught us how to make something super cool today. Well, while I go and try to make better pencils than these, go check out what Dr. Lulu has in store for us in her science lab. Have fun. Science is fun.
Hey kids, I'm Dr. Lulu. Welcome to Electrified Science. Einstein is my helper. Tell the kids hello, Einstein. And we're so excited to be here with you. We have so many cool science experiments planned for the next few months, and we have a very special one today. You don't wanna miss it. Get ready to get your stuff. Okay guys, go get your ant stuff. Look who I have. I have Emma's ant stuff. Special shout out to you, Emma. Oh, wow, there's cool stuff in here, but I promise not to bother it, okay? Let's get started on our experiment. Inside your amp bag, you're gonna find three dry erase markers, okay? Now, the other things you need are things from home. You need a plate or a clear dish and some water. That's it, okay? Now, let's get started. What we're gonna do is take our dry erase markers and we're gonna draw something on the plate. Hmm, what to draw, what to draw. What? Einstein, brilliant. We're gonna draw lightning bolts because this is electrified science. So you take your dry erase markers and then we're gonna draw a lightning bolt in red and then we're gonna draw a lightning bolt in black. Then we're gonna draw a lightning bolt in blue. Now. I'm gonna use a straw for the next part, but you don't have to, okay? You just have to pour the water really slowly on the edges of your dry erase marker shapes. And you can draw anything you want to. See how it lifts the dry erase marker up? It, it doesn't look like really a lightning bolt anymore, but that's what happens in this experiment because you see, Dry erase markers don't dissolve in water. And so what happens is the water slips up under the markers and then lifts them up off the plate. Isn't that so cool? So science is about learning things, right? So we learned that our black marker didn't do so well, but our blue marker did great. You can do any kind of shapes you want to in this experiment. Go crazy, okay? I hope you guys liked today's science experiment. And remember, we talked about this a second ago. The red one lifted, but it took a long time. The blue one did pretty well, but the black one didn't really do anything. So I want you to experiment at home. I want you to do this as many times as you want to and have a great time. Einstein and I will see you next time. Now that was an awesome science experiment. And the coolest thing is you get to do it over and over again and try so many different artworks. And that's the cool thing is that you get to go. Okay, Einstein wants to go make the craft right now. He's not very patient. So why don't you go over to our art studio with London and make our beautiful craft for today. And maybe there we can practice our drawing to go back to our science later on. Have fun. Hi guys, I'm London and welcome to my art studio. We do so many amazing things here, and I'm so excited to get started. Let's go. From your ant kit, you will need your felt paper, your string, your personal made bookmark, and your crowns. Now is the time you get to be creative. You get to color your bookmark however way you want. You can design your bookmark however you want, and we even gave you an extra material of felt paper. Once you get done designing your bookmark, you will take your string, put it through the hole of your bookmark, and tie it. You can become wiser by reading a book, so the next time you read a book, use this. I hope you guys had so much fun, and see you next time. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I think this was a great way to start off a new season of AMP. You got to do a cool science experiment, have a yummy cooking that is way better than mine was, and you get your very own bookmark to start school off right and be wise. I hope you guys had so much fun, and this year, if you have any ideas of what you wanna see on an AMP episode, go ahead and let us know. Text me at this number right here so we can know what to do in the future. We want AMP to be so much fun for you and your friends, so we're always ready to do new things and always learn new things. 
I hope you guys had fun and we'll see you next time. Bye. To stay up to date with all things Amped, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Amped Online. To watch any previous episodes, go to our YouTube channel at amped.online. If you want any more information or want to get a friend to sign up for boxes, have them text the word AMPED to 844-896-1593.